Everyone, the issues are the same. Gaps, links, evidence, reports, pressures on sovereign governments, safeguarding, the ability to see resources provided where they're required most. I believe that that is what you've all contributed to today. That's what all of this one-stop shop you've seen presented in and with regards to the Community Campus Portal, what it can do for you, what you can do for it, and the rest of the communities that you've represented and contributed as a result of today. Apart from our two much welcome contributors from outside of um, certainly what was deemed in the first instance a year of youth, but it is for the Commonwealth youth and the global youth. Are any of you aware of the Commonwealth year of youth? Just a very quick, if none of you are aware, this is what we are driving our approach in seeing the change that we want to see made along the lines of what you have raised as issues, challenges, but what must be opportunities. That is our global call to action. That is what we're committed to. That is what you're contributing to and will ultimately help inspire by your efforts and contributions today. Everything that will be scribed, reported, produced is part of our lobbying effort to achieve just that. 50,000 social coaches, 5 million young people and children directly, but indirectly, we expect that to be 100 million because we have the digital age across the five continents. When we talk about education, think about a mobile phone. Think about an app that could provide educational attainment and think about read, write and count. That when you're passing a ball, throwing a ball, a punch, a kick, whatever you're doing can have an addition, a subtraction, a multiplication, a geography lesson, a history lesson. That's what you can do in both an informal and formal self. That's what the tools can provide you with. These are all ideas that are going to be made available to you. The digital age, the equipment that we believe would, that would see your experience a lot better than we've been able to realize today. This has taught us much and give us much food for thought in how we make the representations and the case for the art of the possible, because that is what you're historically part of and contributing to. Um, there are two alumni of 2020 that I'm certainly convinced that have inspired me that I wasn't sure what they were doing, but that by them being involved here, it means that they are on their way. Rima Dola from um, now in Denmark is working for the Red Cross. She went to Ghana, linked up with um, the late Kofi Annan's daughter-in-law and son, the Annans who would have relocated but doing great work in Ghana. Ghana has the All Africa Games, is everyone aware of that? That's taking place, that's the next opportunity. Uganda has already contributed, but education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Read what sport has the power to do to change the world and you begin to see the art of the possible. If many of you do not remember the late Kofi Annan, General, Secretary General of the, of the United Nations, he was the one that saw the potential of sport for development for peace. But that's because he was a good athlete. Many say he could have been a great athlete. The Muhammad Ali's, all of these great global icons have contributed to where you are now. They inspired me. They inspired Janice Argyle Thompson, who inspired Peter Rent, who inspired Kishan Patel, and inspired many who are part of an intergenerational diverse effort in providing hope and opportunity. Please do not underestimate what has been contributed and what you have contributed to. I'm going to stop there for any comments that Janice Argal, Peter Raymond, Kishan Patel might want to provide because they have contributed much in today's historic engagement. Um, if, I can, if I can start, thank you, Jeff, for the presentation. 
Thank you, first of all, everybody for signing up and joining this workshop. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, working with you. Um, one thing I'd like to add is whatever you have written down, either on your whiteboards or on paper, can you please take a screenshot or photograph of it and keep that? We will be asking you to write up also what you have done and send it in to us to finalise our report. We must have all of your input into the final report that we will be producing. Um, with regards to women in sport in particular, although yes, it is across the board, please encourage girls and women to learn a combat sport. It's very, very important for self-defense. As I explained to my group, and maybe should have said to the wider group, that I was attacked when I was 16 years old. Um, and somebody came up and grabbed me from behind around my neck and around my mouth. Uh, very luckily, I managed to scream and get away. Otherwise, it could have been a completely different outcome. So, yeah, boys, girls, men and women, self-defense is a great priority. It's all also very good, as we've told our children. Um, it's good to learn to run so you can get away from situations you don't want to be in. It's also very useful to learn to swim, because if you can get into uncharted waters anywhere, whether it be a swimming pool, a pond, the sea, a river, anything, very, very useful to have that skill to be able to swim. Thank you once again. It's been a pleasure. And uh, we look forward to working with you and hope that we can also visit you in person not too, well, not too far away and very, very soon in the future. Thank you. Nice. Peter? I'd like to thank you all for your contributions. I think you've made uh, a great effort to, in, in everything you've done, all of the groups, all, all the contributions that you made, and the work that you're doing in the communities that you're working in is, is absolutely amazing. So keep up that good work. And I hope that uh, we'll be able to see evidence of this of the great work that you're doing uploaded to the portal and, and shared. And we will support you with the, the, the mapping, the tracking and measuring as much as we can and to provide you with the, the, the evidence to 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 help support your work as you as you as you build on it and you as you move forward and as you as, as you improve on it all. It, it's always a case of improving through reflection on what you've delivered previously. And a lot of you are young people yourselves. So there's, you've got a long journey ahead of you. And there's a lot more that you're learning as you go in and, and uh, that you're learning from other social coaches within the, the, the portal. So um, please make use as much as possible of the portal, as Jeff has said. And uh, we look forward to seeing your great work going forward. Thank you, Peter. Kishan? I would like to echo uh, what everybody else has said. Uh, thank you for everybody who's joined. Uh, hopefully you found our lovely workshop in, uh, very insightful and informative. Uh, keep up the hard work in your respective countries and respective areas. Uh, I would like to make sure we get a virtual group picture at the end of a session. So if you do have the capacity to have your webcam on after just closing, closing, closing remarks, I would like to take a group picture of us uh, for our virtual remembrance of today's workshop. Thank you, Kishan. Um, Kishan is very understated, but is already representing, as I said at the beginning of this workshop, what I hope, like many of you, will become the new global leaders and leaderines. Um, to see two young leading alumni from the 2020 workshop that reflected the late Kofi Annan and late President Mandela, in that in itself has given me much continued motivation to continue to fight, advocate of something we must be aware of. I have over three decades seen, as I said, a movement become an industry. The one thing I'm absolutely still committed to is ensuring that the resources and the empowerment goes to people like yourselves. That is what this was all about has always been about, and today has been about. And your contributions and continued efforts will continue. As all that's been said before mentioned, the report, your evidence is critical. Once we're able to present it in the way that the potential that reflects this workshop, the portal and your work moving forward, there's nothing guaranteed in life, but I can assure you on those that I'm talking to now in that global funding space, they will be a lot more convinced. They've contributed to that portal. They like that portal, whereas I would never have sought to have the workshop today. 
It's your final phase of input and then your amplification, you sharing. And there will be a bigger workshop that you'll contribute to. But I've always said, David, take the money for that hotel, the cost of flying everybody over, the ability to have presentations, the dialogue and debate. If that money was given to you, what would you be able to do with it? So I want this to go back. I know sport for development was natural in the 60s and 70s. Now it's become gentrified. So that's what we're working towards. That's what you will all contribute to. And the social coach ultimately has three golden words. Please, thank you, and sorry. If you use those words and you mean it, you will thrive. You will be forgiven and you'll be given by God's grace the ability to do your work. Time is well spent, but our vision must be your vision. Vision without action is a dream. Action without vision is merely passing time. Today, vision with action can change the world that you will contribute to for those who will inherit the world and the legacy opportunity for all. Please keep in touch. Please follow up. Believe it or not, the work starts now. The global call to action starts now. Every single one of you contribute to that effort, and by God's grace, all will be well. I want to formally bring the workshop to a close. Peace. Thank you very much, Jim.